this week. I'm only like 35 right now, but. My goodness, dude, you're cool. I don't know, they need to be like a little bit shorter. I don't like it. Hello, guys, and welcome back to today's vlog. Today, I have been filming a what I eat in a day video. Parker went to the grocery store. Cove is napping. And what else are we doing today? It's my shoot day, so I've just been shooting a bunch of stuff. Right now, I actually wanna go upstairs and shoot a couple of like maternity-ish pictures. I brought home a stool from Look and Gray. We have like a cute little wooden stool in the studio. And I think I just wanna sit on that like against a white wall. I wanna have on like a cute white top and then some jeans. So I'm just gonna have Parker shoot the pictures. We're actually supposed to be doing maternity pictures on Thursday. So we'll see how that goes. Cause I wanted to do more like family ones and you just never know like how your toddler is gonna be. So I wanted to get just like a couple right now. I'll be 36 weeks this week. I'm only like 35 right now, but Cove came at 38. So the baby could be here in like three weeks. I'm trying to tell myself not to plan on that, but it will be really fun if she came at 38 weeks because I really liked having Cove two weeks early just because the end of pregnancy honestly freaking sucks. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. I actually have a doctor's appointment next Monday. So I'll have them check me at that appointment to see if I'm like dilated at all, which even if I am, it doesn't mean the baby would actually come early, but I was last time. And so it was kind of like a good indication that maybe she would come early, but you never know Just cleaning up my lunch and we're gonna go get that stuff set up upstairs And then I also have one more thing that I maybe wanted to shoot today But it's a hair thing and I can't decide because I get my hair done on Wednesday So my hair will look like a lot cuter if I wait, but then I have to get ready on Wednesday And I usually only like to get ready once a week <laughs> and I already did that today So we will see after I get my belly pics. All right, my jeans fit technically. Obviously I couldn't button them, but I got them over my hips, which is very exciting. I don't even know the last time I wore jeans. It's definitely been like a lot of months because even before I had a big belly, it just like hurts to have something tight. We'll see what we get. Hopefully I get at least like one cute photo. You want me to show you inspo or do you yeah. have to get the vibe? I don't know. So just sit, let's see, and then you can show me. Okay. Okay, next up we are outside. I think the pictures we just took turned out good. Um, I was gonna shoot this next picture at like sunset in the sunflower field, but Cove is napping right now and I kinda just wanna like get it done. It's also getting so bright, I literally can't even like see what's on the camera. We're gonna attempt to shoot another picture really quick and then it would be really great if I could edit these pictures before she's up, but she took kind of an earlier nap today, which means that it's gonna be a shorter nap. So yeah, Parker was about to mow the lawn and then I came out here with like all this stuff that I need to shoot. So we're gonna attempt to get a picture really quick. I think I just want to shoot it like, like I want you to be low with like the sun back in the back behind my hat. Mm. This is my outfit. I think it's too bright. I literally can't really tell. Call it what you want. I got something else in my head. Oh, if it's you, I've been waiting for. All right, time for the moment of truth to see if we have anything good. I use this program called Photo Mechanic to like look through all of my pictures. It is the best, makes it so fast and you can go through and like mark the ones that you um, wanna keep. So I use this when we do like Luke and Grace shoots and stuff, but I'm gonna look through all these pictures. Hopefully I got something that I can use. It's 1.30 right now. And usually if Cove doesn't go down early for a nap, then she'll sleep till like at least two, 2.30, maybe three, it used to be 3.30 back in the day. Now it's like always shorter, but sometimes she gets up at like 1.45. So I'm gonna hurry and try and edit these and see if I got anything good. So it is the next day. We just got back from golfing. What are we doing today? Are we gonna watch dad golf? You want dad to play golf with you? Yeah. yeah? Oh Ooh. 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 Mama try? Okay. Thanks, baby. So give it all you got. Don't you pay them any man. Close your eyes, follow the sound. Keep it calm through the night. We don't need to slow down. Are you doing it?
time ever going with them. They've actually only gone twice. I think they vlogged um, like last week maybe when they went, but it was so cute and just like a good activity for Cove. We're always trying to like think of things for her, like for us to be able to take her to do, especially since we have the new baby coming. And I feel like she just always like does so much better if we get her out for the day, whether we go to the park for like 20 minutes or like the trampoline place or whatever. So now it's nice because Parker has another idea of like something to go take her to do when I have the baby and we're just like kind of recovering and I'm like wanting to just sit in bed and hang out but we still want to make sure that she like it gets out for the day and kind of has her normal routine so she's so cute and she loves it and literally will last like at least an hour there which for a toddler is a long time um that was super fun and cute um I mostly sat on the grass I did golf for a second I reorganized my purse which is exciting and then now we're home Kova's is napping I'm gonna eat some lunch in a minute and I actually just found a pile of maternity clothes that I bought that I forgot about that I bought like two months ago so that was kind of a waste because I'm like almost done being pregnant I have only a few weeks left so I was literally complaining earlier that I have like nothing that fits anymore so I'm gonna try some of these on but before I do that I actually just got my new pop socket in the mail so I was trying to decide what case if I can to put it on thank you to case five for sponsoring today's video um i'm so excited i can't decide which one i want to put it on they have so many cute cases case by cases are slim and protective the impact cases have a two-layer construction of chi tech and are drop tested for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet so i have a couple different ones right here these two are some that we showed in our last video these are the compostable ones and you can see they have like the extra protection right here so you can customize them they have lots of different like cute prints and colors um you can like monogram them or just put your name on it so i always put like coco or like something that has to do with her instead of my own name and they also have an antimicrobial coating so it keeps your case germ free and kills 99% of bacteria I think I'm gonna put this one on my phone these are just like so cute they're literally the prettiest most beautiful colors Cove loves these ones she loves flowers and she loves dogs so these are like her favorite ones so I thought about putting those on too but I think I'm gonna go with this one and the impact and ultra impact cases are also made with 50% recycled material so what you can feel good about your new phone case but I'm gonna put this on this is the one that I currently have on my phone um this is their custom photo case it's so cute so I just have like tons of different pictures and Cove loves this one she loves to always point out that like dad is on there so I'm excited to make one of these again when we have a new baby because I need to update it all these pictures are like kind of old but this is a super fun case that they have too I know the new iPhone is coming out soon so if anybody needs a new phone case you can use our link it's casefy.com slash Aspen and Parker for 15% off so I will have that down below if you guys want to check it out especially with getting a new phone they're always like inconveniently differently sized and so you have to like repurchase everything but you get a discount if you use our link so definitely check that out I'm gonna get this on my phone and then try on my first outfit I'm actually gonna put this on the tripod really quick so that I can set it right here oh wait i didn't even do a drop test okay let me put my new case on it's so cute i hope they have these colors in like the new ones for the new phone see it's so cute nice slim and protective don't have any cracks or anything on my phone you can throw it it did hit my bed so i will do a redo not hitting my bed you can see my phone is perfectly fine so i'm gonna stick my pop socket on there really quick it matches the font which is so cute oh it looks so good i love it so again casefy.com slash aspen parker for a 15 percent off of your new favorite phone case anyways let me see what i got because i ordered these a while ago this looks really kind of big what sizes did i get a medium looks like i got a skirt and a top looks like this it's a cute little like bodycon dress. See, literally nothing fits me right now. Especially bottoms, like most bottoms hurt me. So I like to wear like dresses or something. Dang it, I wish I hadn't forgot about this pile. I've been like struggling finding stuff to wear for a while now. And I had a whole pile of stuff sitting in a basket over there. But I got this cute little maxi dress. Looks like this is another dress. I don't even actually know if all of these are maternity. What is this? But I did order, is this a shirt or a dress? That's a shirt, I think. I did size up. I think some of these are maternity and some of them aren't. 
ordered these when I did my Shein swimsuit video. I did get a pair of maternity pants. I will try these on. It's been too hot to wear jeans, but I still have a few weeks and it's starting to cool down. I actually love being pregnant in the summer because you don't have to wear pants and stuff. Like I don't like to wear like a lot of clothes when I'm pregnant, basically. I like to have a cute bodycon dress or something where it like shows off your bump. And I don't know, I just feel like better in that versus if I was pregnant in the winter and I had to wear like pants and big baggy sweaters and stuff. Like you already feel kind of just frumpy when you're pregnant. So I actually really like being pregnant in the summer. I know some people hate it, but anyways, I'm gonna try on this dress first. All right, first one. I don't know if I have this on backwards. Maybe it's just throwing me off because I'm wearing a bra and you can see it, but this is like super, super thin. So I don't know if I would recommend this one. It definitely fits, has room for my belly and stuff, but it's also like kind of big even. Like I could have twins and still wear this so yeah this is what this one looks like not really my favorite okay i haven't even looked in the mirror yet i already have bad vibes something about these pants i'm scared <gasps> Okay, no. This is why I like to be pregnant in the summer. I feel like clothes like this just do not make me feel good. I do not like it. This is a shirt, apparently. It's not a dress. It's definitely too short to be a dress, obviously. But it is long enough that it covers this part. I don't know. These pants are not, like, that bad, I guess. I don't know. They need to be, like, a little bit shorter. I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, this is not my favorite. This video, I thought these were gonna be like cute. I wanted to show you guys for like cute outfit ideas. I don't love it, you know? All right, this next piece is definitely not maternity, but I got this just to like see what I think. My belly button is also not out. It's still like in, but I feel like it almost like looks weirder being in. I don't know. This actually kind of fits cute. It's definitely a little bit short. I probably got a medium in this, but I feel like I would still wear this. This is very cute, but again, it's not actually maternity, but this style of dress is like really, really trendy. I think I'll try on one more and then I'll eat lunch. We actually... This battery is flashing, so I need to go change it because it's going to die. We actually are going to get massages in a couple hours, which I'm so excited about because my body hurts so bad. So we're going to get like a 90 minute, we're doing a 90 minute couples massage and I cannot wait. So we're going on like a little date. It's 1247 and we need to leave at 215. So my friend is going to come over and watch Cove. We put her down a little bit early because I'm hoping that she wakes up before we leave because I feel like she'll be happier if she wakes up and it's like us and then we leave her with my friend versus like if my friend is the one who goes and like gets her up from her nap. So we'll see what time she wakes up, but I cannot wait to go get massages. Um, Let's see. I think the next one I'll try on. I guess I'll try on these two and then be done. This one also fits pretty cute. I probably got a medium in this. I feel like I could have used a small. The top is like a little bit big. I need to tighten the straps, but even just like how it fits everywhere else. And I feel like I definitely could have fit into a small in this um, skirt, but this one I'll say thumbs up to too. If I had like jewelry and was like ready for the day, I would definitely like this one and it's plenty. Okay, battery died, but I think I was saying that that skirt was like plenty long too. So this is the last dress, which this is my favorite thing to wear when I'm pregnant. Just like a cute little bodycon dress because I feel like you just don't feel frumpy when you wear this. But anyways, why is this battery flashing too? <clears throat> I guess I'll film till this one dies and then wait a minute for them to charge. But anyways, for lunch, I'm having a veggie rice bowl. It has rice, veggie, sweet potatoes. And then I have a tahini dressing. I showed this in my video that I did on my main channel. It should be up probably when you guys see this, I think. Um, it was a what I eat in a day. And I always like to make extra so that I can have enough for lunch the next day. So, actually, I feel like I had leftovers of something else too, but I can't remember what it was. So yeah, you guys can watch that video. I will link it down below. But I'm gonna eat that. And then I have some things that I got from Amazon that I'll show you guys in a second too. A few moments later. Okay, back in the same spot, but I did just eat my lunch. I had to eat it in the office because I had to make an edit to a video and send it back in for like the third time. This battery's still flashing, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Amazon. It's also really sad how Amazon Prime shipping is not fast enough for me these days. Like two whole days to wait to get my stuff. If it's not same day, Can I don't you get, want it. Can you get same day? No, not on most things. Okay, first thing I got, I needed some new milk storage bags. So I got this. Last time I used, I forget what the brand is called, but it's the purple one. And this time I have, I got the Medela ones because I have the Medela pump. So I'm gonna try those out. I also got three different dresses. I'm not gonna open these yet, but we are shooting maternity pictures um, in two days. I wanted to have a cute, like white silky looking like slip dress. And I was not prepared enough to find something that wasn't from Amazon. So 
The two day shipping sometimes is fast enough for me, but also I wish it was there like the same day or the next day. So I got one of these or I got three different options and I'll return the one that, or the two that I don't end up using. I bought more baskets. Baskets are the best because they make everything feel clean. You just shove it in a basket. Even if it's a mess, it just feels like it's clean. So I got a couple more of these because I wanted to have them for when we have the baby. So I'm gonna have like diapers in here and essentials and all that stuff. And all right, new battery bag. Switching back to the other one that's only been charging for like 20 minutes. But anyways, I wanna have a basket in like every room in the house that we go in a lot basically, which is our bedroom, the living room. Probably put one in the basement just cause I think I have enough baskets, but it's just nice to have like diapers and wipes everywhere you go so that it's convenient when you have like a lot of diaper changes that you're doing, especially cause we have two babies in diapers. So I'm gonna use these. So this came in a pack of four. These are super cute. I'm pretty sure we already have this, but again, I needed more because I don't have any like extra baskets laying around and I need to get like the new diaper stuff set up. So I've been very excited for these. I have a list of a couple things like last minute baby prep that I want to do probably next week. So that's when I'll set up like this stuff. Maybe I'll do that when I'm actually like 38 weeks. I don't want to do it too early, but I have a list of like a few more things that we need to get done. And one of them is setting up like the diaper baskets and stuff. So yeah, very excited for those. I'm also excited for our massages. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Mine looks so bad, I can't believe it. And that is all for today's vlog. Thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys go to casetify.com slash Aspen and Parker if you wanna get 15% off your new favorite phone case. That link is also in the description. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.